my name is Brienne Beebe. I blog at Busy Miss Beebe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I share how I manage my desktop paper flow. I know organization can be tricky for some teachers. Personally, I love organization and I really enjoy coming up with different systems to organize and revamping and retooling those systems when I realize I could do them better. The current organizing system that I'm using for my desktop, I have been using for years and I love it. So naturally, I wanted to share it with other teachers in the hopes that it could help them if they are organizationally challenged. So without further ado, here's my desktop organization tour. Here's an overview of my teacher desktop. Each day before I leave, I make sure to try and clear as much off of the desk as humanly possible so that when I come in in the morning, I'm not feeling immediately overwhelmed. To the far left of my desktop, I have these letter trays that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I labeled them with my label maker. I have a to do and a to file. So anything that I need to file away, I will throw in to this letter tray. Anything that I have to do, I put in the top. These letter trays help me stay organized with things that need immediate action or delayed action in the case of the to file bin. Usually in this corner next to the letter trays, I would also have a box of tissues and some lotion for my students, but it is Tuesday and I've already run out of tissues. Most everything else is on the right corner of my desk. I have this post-it notes cube in a little container. This is one of the only things that I allow students to touch on my desk. They can write me post-it note reminders if they wanted me to check something on their grade or whatever it is that they need that I can't handle immediately. I ask them to write it down so I don't forget. Okay, I'm gonna start from the right and work my way left. This right here is a paper clip, paper holder, and I use that for anything that is extremely important that needs to be dealt with immediately. This is a magazine file. I have an SAT prep book that I don't really need and could quite honestly take out of here. And then after that, I have a bunch of pronged folders. What I love about the pronged folders is putting sheet protectors in the prongs and then it will hold different papers for me. So the purple folder holds my geometry standards. The green folder holds my SAT prep standards. This red folder holds my quotes of the week. So. I like to put up a new quote on my door every Monday and this is just where I keep them all. I printed out approximately 40 quotes. They're all on double-sided paper and I just display these throughout the year. These three folders are for each of my preps. So for general geometry, I have two folders. I have an A period and a D period because I have two sections of this course. This is where typically I would keep any quizzes or tests that need to be made up. I do the same thing for geometry and for SAT prep. My last prompt folder is my emergency folder and this is just in case we have a serious emergency, I would just take this out. So I don't have anything in the front pocket. I have page protectors added in and then I labeled each corner which period it's for. So when my rosters are settled in a couple days, I will put each roster in here. And this paper back here is our emergency procedures protocol. The last thing being held in the magazine file is my clipboard where I have my rosters and this is all just the sheets that I use for grading. I keep a pencil in here and that's, that's it. This is pretty basic. So that's everything in this magazine file holder. The next thing that I have on my desktop is my binder and this is where I keep everything that I'm currently doing in my courses. So this first section is for everything in geometry and anything that we're doing in this current unit is in here. So basically I have answer keys from homeworks, exit tickets, quizzes, and eventually the test in here. My next section I have for general geometry and basically all the same types of things in here. And then, and then my next section would be my SAT prep. Have all that stuff in there. In the green section, I have a printout of the Common Core Math Standards. And in the yellow section, I'm not going to show it today, but it has everything that I need to know about my school. So 
So once I finish my units of study, I'll transfer the pages from this binder to these binders here. The next thing I have on the section of my desk is my interactive notebook. So I just keep it right there so it's handy and easy to reference. Last but not least is my desktop file. This is probably the most important thing that's on my desk. I showed this in my last vlog, but I have my week at a glance plans clipped to the front of the box. So I have geometry. If I flip up, I'll have general geometry and then I have SAT prep under that. Okay, so inside I have a generic weekly to-do list. And then behind that I have a couple of notepads just in case, so they're handy. Okay. First folder I have is anything that needs to be copied. So if I need something copied, I'll put it in here. And usually if it's a paper, I will put it in standing up so that I see it. My next section is forms. It might be forms that I use personally in my class and I just have a clean copy in case I need to make new copies of it and then also I have forms that are particular to my school district. My next folder is one that I've just labeled important and there's a lot of random things in here. I have a math and physics formula card, I have menus, I have the two hour delay schedule, I have this grading aid that was provided to me from the 40 hour teacher workweek club but I also keep my easy grader in here. So important kind of became a dumping ground for anything that I wanted to keep handy but didn't really have a place to put. My next folder is for absent work. So what I typically do is, because I work off of the smart board a lot, I'll print out the notes and try to print as many copies as I need for the full day. And I'll put my extra copies in here for students that are absent in my later classes. And then I also have these absent work forms just so that students know what they missed and what they have to make up. Okay, after absent work, my last six folders are all kind of similar. I have one folder for each class. They're color coded by that class. And this is where I put anything that needs to be graded. So today my A period class is taking a quiz. So when APRE takes their quizzes, I will keep the quizzes in here until I grade them to keep them organized. And then I also like to just be prepared and have the answer key in there and ready to go. I have these folders color coded. I have A and D period. So A is usually, I'll have pink or red, and then D is orange. For B period and H period, they're my geometry classes, so they're blue and purple. For my SAT prep classes, they're both green, but I have two sections. The last thing that I have in the back is another pronged folder. And I use this folder specifically for students that are out for an extended period of time. If I have students out on medical leave or for an extended suspension, it becomes easier just to send them their work by week. So I'll collect all their work for the week and put it in the to send pouch. When I get work back from them, I'll put it into the to grade pocket. And I like having the two grade be this pocket so that it's very visible. Like I cannot miss if there's something in here. My back pocket is for the things that need to be sent back. So I'm not using this folder right now, but when I do, I have it ready. And that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, make sure you hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And of course, if you want more teacher organization tips or ideas, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you for watching this video.